10 years. A lot of gray hair has developed in 10 years. But it has been a lot of fun on a serious note. It's, you know, we didn't expect to, uh, to make it this far. Most bluegrass bands, a couple of years, you're on to something else. And, and this has been an incredible ride, an incredible journey. And the fact that we're not done with it is exciting. So we'll see where, where we end up 10 years from now. It'll be fun to see. You see that we've learned a lot along the way. A lot of tricks of the trade, you might say. so cool to get to come home and do this tonight and um, you know it's so many memories even in this building but just 10 years worth of traveling there's so much craziness that's went on there's we'd have to write the book but, and, and then you wouldn't want anybody to read it but <laughs> it's been great it's really been great it's been the longest I've ever been in a, in a band and um, you know, I love these guys I what we've been able to do together thankful for it um, you know our families are close it's it's really been a team thing there's it's a five-headed monster for sure and um, it's just really amazing that it's it's lasted this long and I'm curious to see how much longer it lasts this is, this is a typical setup for, for
Well, Balsam Range is, uh, it's been okay for me. Uh, the money's not all that great. I'm really hoping my guitar business takes off within the next little while so I can kind of get out of this kind of rat race music stuff, you know. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Um, I, I love these guys. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Ten years has gone by in Flash. Uh, I, I can't believe it's been ten years. Um, my kids, you know, I look back, I've got a 16-year-old and a 15-year-old and an 8-year-old, and they've all grown up with Balsam Ranch. And so it's, it's been cool. Uh, we're all friends. We're all neighbors. We live in the same town. I'm sure you guys know, but... Um, but we are true friends, and um, it, it's it's really rare for a band to have the a tenure of ten years. You know that's that's kind of crazy for the same five guys. And, um, Tim always says that we can't quit because we see each other in the grocery store or church or something, and he's right. But, uh, thank you to all the fans that have supported us over the years. Uh, we love you guys deeply, and thank you for allow us to share our music with you. Wonderful. Now, what is that super glue for? <laughs> well, my fingers crack sometimes in the winter time, and uh, that super glue keeps them from bleeding. <laughs> Just another paper town is 
the one that I call home. Well, just at the last uh, 10 years, Balsam Range, it's, it's just crazy to think that it started out as a jam session in my kitchen, and here we are 10 years later, same five guys, and, you know, you, you go through a lot in 10 years. It's like any other relationship, you know, it's basically growing together. <laughs> this is it. Two? Wow. After 10 <laughs> years, this is how you do it. God, we're getting this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I've been feeling lonely, girl, I could do you some good. But now we can laugh and sing and dance and talk and I will. And if you feel misunderstood, I could do you some good. Oh, oh, I could do you some good. I think, yeah, that's a little creepy. Maybe we should move. Okay, let's go let's down go, the hall. Let's go over here. Can, oh, this is a much better spot. Can, can I stand with my partner? Yes, I like this spot much better. <laughs> but uh, my name is Mark, and uh, I'm the old banjo guy for Balsam Range. And I uh, hope a lot of folks have enjoyed our music through the years. I'm proud to be part of the band. Uh, the guys have just been wonderful to work with. and. Uh, Picking and singing, it's been a real intense professional effort. I've told a lot of people that my life looks like a big party from the outside, but again, it is a real intense business effort. A lot of things have to go into place to get it all to come together, but when it does, it's a magic thing. And I, just for me, I would like to thank all the folks that uh, have taken the time to become friends with Balsam Range and have become friends with the, the music and familiarize themselves. And, just from, from this old heart right here. Thank you. But uh, right now we got some uh, very special folks here, and uh, uh, everybody has always been supportive of Balsam Range, and so we decided we're doing the Art of Music Festival, which is uh, every December, and so we didn't do the winter concert series here in Claudio this year, and so we knew we had to do a show here. We love the knees, we love the, uh, the Colonial, so. We thought, uh, let's do a concert and uh, try to get back a little bit to our community. Uh, so there's some special folks here that we want to uh, uh, present a check to. Uh, my wife, Anita, is a social worker for Haywood County. She works for uh, Adult Care Protective Services. So uh, for a number of years, I've been very aware of uh, uh, some of the needs in the community. and. Uh, uh, some of the folks, the, the things that social workers have to deal with. And about three and a half years ago, uh, uh, my mom had a stroke. 
and uh, I became intently aware of the needs that folks who have strokes or dementia or Alzheimer's, uh, they need help. And we have a resource in Haywood County that uh, is based in Asheville, and uh, uh, she, there's no other uh, resource, memory care, west of Haywood County. We're just tickled to death to have uh, Dr. Lisa Burgess with us tonight. And we'd like to present her a check for a thousand dollars. Dr. Burgess, would you please say hi? And Thank you so much. We've got a nonprofit clinic, and we are blessed to have a wonderful location in Haywood County for the past five years. We've actually got a caregiver education series coming up starting at the end of this month, and there are some flyers out front. We are so grateful to these guys for supporting the work we do, so thank you so much. Uh, the other charity, one of the other charity we want to give to is um, Haywood County Schools Foundation. And all of, all of our kids are products of uh, Haywood County Schools. And uh, that's the future of Haywood County, is our, is our students. And I saw a sticker the other day that said, uh, education cuts never heal. And uh, so we wanted to give some money to that. They do a lot of great things, scholarships for our students and, and teachers, and just giving back to our community. So that's, that's one of the other fundraisers. Folks here in Haywood County uh, may know that every December uh, at Laurel Ridge Country Club, they, our county folks put on a great program um, called the, I believe it's called the Festival of Trees, and all the folks of the county get together and and um, basically auction things off. It's a really nice thing. We've played at it a couple of times, and it's a wonderful thing uh, put on in, in benefit for the CARE program. And uh, my friend Julie, come on up, Julie. I'll let you say a word about what the CARE program exactly is. Mark's talking about Anita um, working in social work, and I was privileged to get to do that for uh, a couple of years myself in the Child Protective Services Division of Haywood County. And some of my, my boss ladies here this tonight somewhere. I don't know where she is. But, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, if you spend an hour uh, in social services, uh, you will see most of us, I had no idea the situation that some of the people in Haywood County live in. And the, the old folks that Anita deals with, it's, 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 it's heartbreaking. And then to see the children where I dealt with them I, at any given time in those two years. And uh, my, my supervisor's here tonight, she can attest to this. I had a hundred children that I dealt with. Uh, there was never a time in two years that I had less than 100 children in, in, in the county custody that I was taking care of in some fashion. And it's heartbreaking to see what happens to some families or sometimes there's not a family involved. And children walk into that building with nothing but the clothes on their back. We've seen them come in barefooted in pajamas. We've gone all night about this, but there is a program the care program, which helps these children. It helps the families. When, uh, just for one example, I know this for a fact, because we dealt with the court system so much that a lot of these people, when they would have their children removed from their, care, their, their custody, for whatever reason, they would, part of their court-ordered program was to go to parenting classes, and, and the care program has a lot to do with that. So Julie is here, and uh, we are proud to present thousand dollars to the care program uh, and hopefully it'll do a little good all these things every program we've talked about tonight could, uh, if you've got some of you been blessed and don't know what to do with it all these are three three people here tonight or three organizations that could use all the help we can give them so here's miss Julie every child deserves to grow up safely and our mission is to end child abuse through advocacy and education and support We've been here serving the Haywood County family and kids for 25 years. We're pretty excited about that. We're excited about seven this year. We're the oldest operating child advocacy center in North Carolina. But what I want to speak about is how much they have given over this last 10 years. It is important to know that for agencies just like ours, they have given hundreds of thousands of dollars that they raised on behalf of the kids of Haywood County. Just a family county, not to mention everything else they do. And for someone who personally has uh, 
uh, and through their music, set up the Ross and our life. Uh, they have done this for countless people in this community, not only for our children, but for all of us. And I just wanted to say thank you to the Boston Marines for everything you've done. Probably gonna need some sort of orthopedic charity after they trip over all this stuff up here. <laughs> lucky, very, very lucky to get to make music for a living and the fact that, uh, you know, it's like being able to play baseball for a living, you know, uh, the fact that we we can go and, and play music and try to entertain people, you know, it's just, uh, it's a dream job, really, and we're still having fun, you know, it's 10 years and, you know, you, you learn how to, to live with each other and you learn how to have fun with each other. And, song that's on the Mount Duty record that uh, came from uh, a great songwriter nationally named Craig Market um, and Barry Bales, who plays the bass for House of Christ Union Station, sent us this song and it's a, I always get nominated to sing all the safety love songs. <laughs> You're fantastic. I am fantastic. <laughs>
heard about Boston Range through John, John Driscoll Hopkins at the Second Round Man at the Wind Jammer. Um, and one of my favorite songs is about everything you play. Every time we see them, we're more than amazed and delighted and thankful that we have them here in this area. Um, the first time I remember hearing about Balsam Rain was probably the first time I heard Trains I Missed, which is my favorite song that I didn't know until later on in my life that it would kind of become my life story and the song and Balsam Rain to mean a lot to me and I got this to you. It's not always easy, you know, it's 10 years of, of um, you know, traveling, traveling's hard, that, that part of it, and, and so we're finally, we've got people in place like Mandy Tennery, who are, you know, she's our tour manager, Mike Drudge is our booking agent, and John um, Holder, who does sound, you know, when we started out, we didn't have any of those tools, and we were doing it all ourselves, and I feel like the band is finally getting to a place where we're starting to get better, and, and make uh, better records every time because um, we've been able to, to grow it to a place where we can focus on the music. And so if, if there's been this much progress in 10 years, from my perspective, I can't wait to see what the next 10 years brings. But it's been a lot of fun and I think uh, the most important thing are the people that we've met along the way and people who, I don't want to say fans, you know, they're just friends of bluegrass, you know and um, roots music it's it's great to, to travel all over the country tell them about western north carolina our brand of bluegrass that comes from the mountains and uh, to be able to develop relationships and and uh, you know i'm 33 years old now i was about i was 23 when it started and so you know this is a, a chapter of my life if it all stopped tomorrow you know that i would be very thankful for and uh, you know, I'm at the point, and the band's at the point where we just want to get better. You know, I want to keep getting better, and, and uh, I, I can't imagine doing anything else. So we'll just see where it, where it goes.